Hi guys, so I actually recorded this video previously, but um, my phone ended up dying at the end of the video, so I had to do it all over again. And um, yeah, so the reason why my video ended so short, my son was driving me crazy in the background. I was planned on posting another video, but yeah, I'm lazy sometimes, and I don't like a camera in my face 24-7. And um, I was thinking about blogging, but I like enjoying my life without having to film it because you're sitting there trying to film it and act fake in front of the camera. Not everybody does that, but I want to enjoy the moment and not have to worry about, oh, does this look good in the camera? But even though I wrote a post, I wouldn't care. I don't know if it looked good in the camera or not. Sorry about that. And um, yeah, so um, back to what I was saying before. I was searching and doing the searching or doing whatever video, um, not video, oh my god. I was ordering all the stuff from Instacart for the party and um, uh, pretty much he was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm getting the stuff to fix the cake because someone dropped it. And he's like, are you on standby? I'm like, no, why would I put myself on standby? I haven't received a call yet. I'm not doing this. I'm not putting myself on training mode and shopping. Like, that's irresponsible. Like, why would I do something like that? And I, I showed it to him. He's like, oh, okay. I'm like, okay. And, um, so, um, after that, it goes to lunch. And, um, he, I go to lunch and I'm like, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. We get a call, and this guy calls, and I'm like, um, thank you for calling Chase. Chewy, this is St. Clair. How may I help you? And he gives us a, he's like, why? Why are you, um, calling, addressing yourself as St. Clair? Why don't you use your first name? I'm like, because there's so many, um, other people with the same first name as me, and I want to be different. Um, I want to, if I do something wrong, I want them to call me on it and not sit there like, oh, yeah. So and so, there's so many people with my first name that I they won't be, they will just say yeah we'll talk to that person about it and they never do. So I use my last name Saint Clair. So if I do something wrong, they say yeah I talk to someone named Saint Clair and they can come talk to me about it. And um, it's like well you need to use your first name for now on. I'm like okay, but I remember the first day of training they said that we can't use a fake name a nickname but we have to use our name and Saint Clair is my name. It's on my birth certificate. So. <sighs> And so I was like, okay. So we go off to lunch, and I'm like enjoying my lunch, talking to everybody about what we're gonna do for the surprise party. I can't wait for it. And um, um, two things happened with the cup. Two things happened. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before with the cake, but on the way to work, um, I had someone driving the car, and something always tells me, told me like, hold the cupcake, something bad's gonna happen. I was like, nah, it'll be fine. And she hits speed bumps so fast, like you don't understand. She hits every speed bump like she's in freaking Dukes of Hazard. And the cupcakes go flying. I freak out. I'm like, you gotta take this back. You have to fix this now, 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 now. Please, 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 please. And she's like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then I'm talking to one of the girls that picked up the cake for me. And I hear her say, oh no, no, oh my gosh, no. And the cake drops. So that's why I was shopping for stuff online. And, um, to fix that cake. And um, so we get off lunch and I go upstairs getting ready to put positive mode back on and get back on the phones and just give myself a pep talk this time and um, I see one of the trainers standing there she's like hey can we talk to you for a moment and I think this can't be good I'm like I, st I kind of start crying immediately I'm like she, um, I'm like anytime you guys ask to talk to me last time you guys asked to talk to me it was for nothing good you guys wrote me up for something I didn't do and then um, I got in trouble for it. So um, I um, I go in the back, and the lady that came in the room last time was there, and she's like, "Well, we're gonna have to let you go." And I'm like, "For what? I didn't do anything." They're like, "Well, we've had a couple of complaints, and um, we just think that." Not complaints. They never even say complaints. They just said, we don't think you're fit for this company. Um, you're a great person. I'm like, what? I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, what did I do wrong? And they wouldn't name what I did wrong. And um, I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, what did I do wrong? They wouldn't um, 
it wouldn't say anything. So I'm like, okay, is it because of the last time when I tried to ask all the people why did I get in trouble for something I didn't do? Or the fact that I was going to HR and asking questions and they wouldn't they wouldn't tell me. And um, um this one thing is that they have this policy called an open door policy that you can talk to HR but it actually really isn't there. It's there but that I'm not sure if they still have it. They cut clear glass doors. So if they see if you trust me, if you go into HR, everybody sees you go into HR. They know you're complaining. So um and they, they, they don't like it. They don't like it when you tell them. They don't like it when you correct them on their wrongs because they want to do what they want to do. And they treat people that are lower like they're lower. And no one is equal in that company. They might act like they are, but they're not. Um, I'm not even sure if the owner himself knows what's going on. If he does, that's really shitty of him. But if he doesn't, he really needs to like take a look back at everything because they let go a lot of good bubbly personalities and amazing people and um, just kept the ones that they favored the most. It's like the only way you can stick in that company is if you know someone there. The only way you can get up is if you know someone to befriend someone. And it's really not fair. It really isn't. Um, I had family members that worked there and they said the same thing. They, My family member quit because of how she saw everything, how everything went down. And um, I was like, no, it can't be like that. And I really gave the company a chance and they honestly let me down as how they treat their employees and it just felt unfair to me because the fact is like well I did everything I was supposed to do I took the steps I was supposed to do yet you punished me for doing what you guys said we can do and what we were told to do and it just didn't feel right to me so um, I've to me I felt like as employee from an employee perspective they failed and they really need to work on that because it that was hor that was a horrible experience for me. And um, but overall, shopping at the company, it's amazing. The, the their deals, everything, it's an amazing company. It really is. I will never knock any. I won't say don't shop there because of how they treat. Ignore that. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say don't shop there because they as the way they built their company, it's amazing. But how they treat their employees, I don't agree with it. I met, I think I met one of the, um, I, I can't remember who he was, but he has red hair. I was like, hi, how are you? I didn't know who he was. And he was just absolutely rude to me. Absolutely. I'm like, okay. I'm like, hi, how are you doing? I introduced myself. I'm like, do you need help? Do you need, and he just looked at me, walked away. I'm like, okay. And then later on, I found out who he was. I'm like, oh God, that kid's a... <laughs> I was like, okay. I'm like, um... Uh, okay so well if you're choosing to work at Chewy I'm not gonna stop you I can't stop you of course you're your own person but just be cautious and just I don't know um, that's just my experience your experience might be different because you might know someone you might find someone that likes you etc but they oh not only that if you ask for a day off they punish you for it yeah they do um, one of my friends, he had a day off that he requested off and they said okay and the next day they called him back and told him he was let go. And he's like, well, you guys told me I can have that day off and they said, um, no, we didn't. But he showed them the paperwork where they said yes and they still let him go. Yeah. And so, yeah, um, that's just how I feel. And... I, I I don't know. There might be people saying, probably true people that want to say, oh yeah, she never worked for us. If you want me to show proof that I actually worked for them, tax forms, the book that I still have, just shoot me a message and I'll just do another video even as much as, yeah. <laughs> I really, yeah. So, it's all up to you guys. Um, so I just hope you guys have an amazing, fantastic day and just have, be happy. Bye. Oh, I can't get it to stop. <laughs>